Hello, my name is Omar Farouk Tech Black. Today, I would like to talk about the most common styles and the musical instruments used in Turkey and the Middle East. And I will demonstrate some of the musical instruments. Now we come to the rhythm instruments. In the rhythm family, Darbuka is the solist. Darbuka, this one I am holding it, is the Egyptian mate. It's, uh, but in Turkey, actually, traditionally, we used to have, we still have some people, they, they still play that one, metal one. So it's from the copper and brass mixed, but it's also screw because of the humidity. They, they control the skin tuning by, by the tuning nuts. So, but now the Egyptian drum became very popular, plus the skin, uh, plastic skin, we can put it on this separate piece over here so there are holes you screw this put the skin on top of it and so this is more useful because of the humidity problem it solves the bad problem but also then it affects the playing technique because in the metal one it is straight up to here so they develop more fingering technique like this kind but in the Arabic because this is round one so it doesn't many people they cannot snap that snapping technique cannot be applied here. It's a little bit because it's round. So they develop this kind of technique using this, this kind of thing. So this is the, as a sound wise, but this is very popular. They also have the clay. That's the more preferable because it's very earthy sound. But this one is the aluminum cast. They call it, it's mixed of many metals. Aluminum cast, they call it. So this is darbuka. As uh, the, the sound is on the darbuka, there is like doom is in the center. There is also slap, tuck, tuck, and then snap. So we can use these two of them. You can get this kind of sound. You can modify the sound. This kind of technique. So playing more melodic is suitable on this high end thing because the tone change. So this is is a solist. What is bongo on the Latin music? Is darbuka is on the Middle Eastern uh, instruments. So after this, we have the the father of this rhythm family is the, the frame drum. In Turkish culture, we, we call this daire, which is the circle, that shape of it. But in Arabic, we call it bandir also. Uh, it's in every culture, we can see this type of uh, circle, type of frame, making the sound. And it, it's played in very, very different styles in every culture. But in Turkish way, they, they can play this heating, this kind of sound. Individual sound, open sound, or this sound. So this is very deep sound. It carries all the bottom uh, melodies, bottom cycle of the beat. Now we, we have also tambourine. This is uh, deaf. We call it deaf. Uh, in Arabic also they call deaf too. Uh, but the, the playing style is where I is. When I grow up, there is a technique that I use like open one using this. This kind of. Which mostly they use. So there is a classic way of playing, they get that sound from here. So playing like more like a darbuka. Thank you.
take a different use like use your imagination whatever you can do but this doom tuck and this pop edge and squeezing the skin and getting higher sound making like a talking drum is also so use your imagination and this instrument gives the jingle part of the rhythm family this one actually is more common in azerbaijan uh, kafkas azeri turk the turks they, they use this the koltuk drum means the uh, arm under arm they, they play like this so also this beat helps this is very nice one to the tuning so i can easily tune tune this right away so it's play like uh, it's same like a rhythm player So it's actually they play also like the both side. So you can use also this part. Any kind of sound is available. So this is the koltuk davul. But also when we say davul family. Actually, in Turkey, we we mean the shoulder hanging. There is a strap. It's bigger than this, and smaller one could be like this. Where it has a wider body, so there is a strap you can hang on our shoulder, and plays one big stick. You will see the picture of it. There is one bigger stick, and then tiny stick for the left side get the high end. Especially in the Bulgarian uh, geography, they play amazing double players. It's very also greek people uh, they they are very talented on this playing this instrument also in rhythm family we we use uh, spoon wooden spoons it could be either played you will see the picture just like a wooden spoon they decorate it beautifully too and it has to be shimshir is the hardest wood so it gets nice solid sound in the eastern part, Antalya, Mut, Alamut, Slivke, tuk, tuk, tuk. so they use it this way, but also it could be used two of them like this. One is in the middle, creating tuk, tuk, chak, tuk, chak, that kind of thing. So it's very different instrument, very different sound, adds a lot to the groove, chak, 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 the high end sound. Also, it's not too common, but uh, finger symbols is also used because of that. It's a happy sound, uh, woman and the parties, and also in the Ensemble very rarely though. I, I don't see that too much in the ensemble. It's mostly played by the dancers when they play the dance accompany to the music Because in the orchestra Tambourine takes care of deaf takes care of that and so this is addition from the audience I think for the participation So it's it's been used a lot especially belly dancers. They are very skillful using the uh, finger symbols just like the Castanet in the Spanish music, the Spanish dancer they use. So it's very beautiful instrument. Then we have bow instruments. The first one is the keman, which is violin in the Western instruments, exactly the same. It's used in classical music. Also folk music too, in the Eastern part of Turkey, they use violin too. We have also the kemençe, which is little smaller size. But the bowing technique is instead of playing like this, it's played like this. I also know that the, in the Northern Africa, there's some Arab musicians, they play regular, normal violin, but play like this technique. So it's a playing technique, bowing technique is d different. Also we have tambour, yaylı tambour, which I mentioned on the plucked, it, it, it is played as plucked, but of course when it's plucked, then they design it differently than the bow one as uh, they treat the body differently according to bow but it says exactly the same uh, neck long neck is the uh, yaylı tambur of turkey if you like to hear more please check out the next episode